This is it, my friend. After tomorrow, you'll be a famous driver, and I will be right there beside you, reaping the rewards of your success. Which rewards did you have in mind? The women! These German girls are crazy for racers. We'll have a dozen blonde beauties feeding us grapes, huh? <laughs> Assuming you don't fuck it up, of course. <laughs> well, I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jews. But there's more riding on this race than you getting your hole knocked off. Vittori took a big gamble making me his wheel now. You're not gonna let him down, Sean. I hope not. Vittori's got bigger problems to worry about these days. Like what? Like the fact that a war could break out any minute, huh? Don't you read the papers? Just the sports section. These Nazi bastards are itching for a fight. If they get their wish, we're all gonna be out of a job. There's the border up ahead. Drive slow and try not to look suspicious. Right. I should have warned me leader holes. I'm serious. These assholes are looking for any excuse to start shooting. About fucking time. Not much farther now. I can smell the petrol fumes from here. You just keep your eyes on the track and the pedal to the floor, my friend. You let me worry about the rest. Are you volunteering to be my manager? What's so funny? I didn't have to be a mechanic, you know. I could have done anything. The teacher used to say to me, Jules. All of these kids are stupid, especially your cousin Javier. But not usual. You are too clever for your own good. I thought Veronique got the brains in the family. She likes to think so. What's her beef with me anyway? I can't put a foot right when she's her own. Hey, it's not just you. Veronique is tough on men in general. Why's that? One of these days I'll take you to my family's cabaret in Paris, huh? Veronique was raised in the Belle de Nuit. Let's just say it was uh, not your typical upbringing. Sounds like fun. My friend, you have no idea. Cousin Javier!